I know, how much do you really need to know? Because I am trying to avoid as many as possible. <laughs> so welcome back to another episode of Vicky City Stand Up. In today's video, we are going to talk about how much CSS do you need to know to become a front-end engineer. Some people just hate CSS, some people don't mind, some people obsess with it. So if you wanted to become a front-end engineer or if you wanted to work on projects in the front-end or exploring the front-end world, do you need to know CSS and how much do you need to know about CSS? As a front-end engineer, I've talked to a lot of different front-end engineers in my career and also people who has been in the front-end for years. I would say like CSS slash like advanced CSS is also one of the things that you might encounter as a front-end engineer. That really depends on the company also. At some point in your career, you're gonna run into CSS. It's not something that you can avoid essentially, but there are a lot of front-end engineers that I've met in my life that they've never coded one day in CSS, but they are a front-end engineer for their entire life. So then the question comes to how much do I really need to know about CSS to become a front-end engineer? The truth is you can never be excel in all the things. You can only focus on what you're really good at and what you really enjoy doing because whenever you're enjoying doing something, you're obviously gonna spend more time working on that thing. And one of the things that I've seen as hiring a front-end engineer is that I don't see a lot of the interview questions are specifically for CSS. I've never really encountered a CSS heavy type of questions, but you do kind of need to know some sort of CSS. If you really are passionate about JavaScript and you are really passionate about React or certain frameworks, I would say ultimately that would show during your interview. To sum up, the bottom line is if you have a chance to learn CSS, learn it but you are not specifically required to know CSS, you actually would encounter the following things in your career. The first thing you might encounter is state management. State management in terms of um, talking about React and Redux or how do you manage states throughout the whole application. You also might run into stuff like APIs. Um, you might have to work with APIs or you might have to work with API APIs because you have to send the data to the server. So those are also the things that you might encounter as a front-end engineer. I honestly think that if you get a chance to learn CSS, learn it because it is pretty big, it's out there, it's everywhere. Um, if you get a chance to learn it, learn it. If you get a chance to learn more things, learn more things because that's what web development is. It's always changing, it's always learning. I think in the past five years, like so much has been changed. And especially if you look at CSS, like there are so many things that you can do with CSS nowadays than it was before. And there are so many possibilities and opportunities that actually you can create great websites with just CSS and HTML. That's how much you should learn about CSS. I guess it's always the more the better, but also depending on what kind of job that you're taking in and what, how much time do you have. If it's the right time and it's the right place, then learn it. If it's not, then don't learn it. I think it really depending on your passion, it really depending on how much you're willing to spend time to learn something new. So I hope this video is helpful. Give me a thumbs up, share this video with someone. And also I have an Instagram where I'll answer people's questions every weekend. And if you wanted to get your questions being answered personally, um, go ahead and go to my Instagram account and submit a question. I would try my best to answer as many questions as possible. If not, stay here because I'll continue posting videos here to help you to be successful in tech. Until next time, I'll talk to you soon and please stay safe. Bye! Bye! Bye. Bye.